Hello everyone, this is Mike Lovell from TintedGreen.net and I just wanted to show off uh, the desktop virtualization system that I've been working for for public access sites. Uh, the whole idea here is uh, this computer is going to boot from the network. It currently doesn't even have a hard drive so it's a really good example for this type of system. It's also kind of an older laptop and uh, what we're going to do is boot into the uh, Linux terminal server project version of Ubuntu and that in turn will load up uh, remote desktop software and automatically log us straight into our Windows 7 virtual machine. So I really think that this is a very easy way for um, a public access site to uh, deploy a lot of virtual, virtualized Windows 7 PCs onto their network. Very quick, easy deployment. It's booting up the uh, Ubuntu client now. and logging straight into Windows. So now we have a Windows 7 PC. I'm just gonna mind my shakiness there. Gotta load up Internet Explorer real quick. And as a good example, I think I'll go to NHL.com. This is a very flash heavy site and flash is one of the things that wants to be shown off here. Stay my hand. As you can see, the site runs quite well. I'm going to scroll down and everything runs pretty smooth. Almost as if the computer was right there in front of you. Oh, there. Oh, don't mind me, the touchpad on this thing's a little touchy. Go to YouTube and we'll load up some random video just to show you how that works. Don't know what this one is. Hopefully it's not too racy. And there you go. As you can see, Flash and everything worked quite wonderfully. Another great little feature of this setup, and I show it on this computer here. This one's also booted uh, off the network. But the whole idea is this one doesn't have a Windows 7 virtual machine assigned to it yet. So if the machine doesn't have one, it's automatically just going to boot up into a pure Ubuntu setup. So. That way, if a uh, network administrator doesn't have uh, the virtual machine set up yet, then the computer is not, not useless. It can still boot up on the system and use uh, Ubuntu. So there you go. I think the system works pretty great. As you can see, the video is running very smooth. Don't have sound set up because uh, where this is uh, designed for public access sites, sound is not really one of the features I want to add, but uh, that should be possible uh, through remote desktop because all those things are compatible. This one here actually does have sound, I just have it muted right now. And there you go. So I thought I'd show that off. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Mike at tintedgreen.net. Thank you.